ever stopped me before. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio! alone in here. Perhaps that was Rebellion. it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, the spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Revelio! Finding a chest in an inconspicuous slot. Brilliant. Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Accio! Revelio! Accio! Revelio! Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Accio! Incendio! Glacier! Incendio! Fringo! All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Couldn't freak out. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Revelio.
Revelio. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Only outside a sarcophagus. Things on. Incendio, please. Incendio. There's something here by the altar. Rebellion. What did you find? Repair room. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry, there may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. but. Let me think for a moment. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I surmise if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones Repair stacked up. oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Is this archway Find a way through. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. The student mentioned bones as the key. Therefore, bone piles must be what we need. Accio! Unanium Leviosa! Accio! Unanium Leviosa! You've done it. I felt it in my bones. Nice.
Revelio. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Revelio. Accio. I need to find a safe way across. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Nadia Leviosa. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Depulsor. Revelio. Revelio. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. Good for the student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. I don't think learning the Imperious curse is a good idea. Really? But we've no idea what may lie ahead. But I shan't press you. I'll have your back no matter what we face in there. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Confirm. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. A 
Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Good for you. Hmm. This looks different than what here. It's in This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Accio! Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with wounds. Accio! That worked. Keep going. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Akio. Head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. 
I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Dead end. Lovely. All that for no. Revelio. Hold on. Don't give up yet. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. 
We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Rebellion. Back there. Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
Boy! What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? <laughs>